um, you know, Cartitude One was a it was a phase one B two study, uh, and it was evaluating um, silta captagene auto, uh, auto or silta cell in heavily pretreated patients with relapse and refractory myeloma. Um, we had previously um, published some uh, on this study one year um, data, and this at ASH this year was an update. It was really uh, data after a median duration of follow-up of two years. Now, um, Siltacel is a B-targeted CAR T-cell therapeutic, and that, um, that is one of four or five right now that are moving forward in the, in the research space of BCMA-targeted therapies. We have one approved BCMA-targeted therapy. Um, this study involved very heavily pretreated patients, six prior lines of therapy, 13 and in, a half percent of patients had extramedullary disease, 23% had um, high risk cytogenetics, 88% were triple class refractory, and 99% were actually refractory to their last line of therapy. So it, it was a really heavily pretreated population. And it was single agent therapy. Patients, as, as is true with all CAR T cell therapies, Patients get an apheresis. The cells are then sent for manufacturing. They get lymphodepletion chemotherapy about four to five weeks later uh, and hope to uh, create some space for the T cells to grow. They get, then get their T cell infusion and then patients are followed for toxicity and response. And that's that was classic. This phase 1B uh, portion, um, had previously been reported at ASH when, when 29 patients were treated. The phase 1B dose was the same dose that was reported at, at the 2017 ASCO meetings. And this um, CAR T cell therapeutic actually came out of China from Legend. Um, and so the same dose that was used in the 2017 report was tested in phase 1B for the cartitude. Everything went well. It was safe, and so that dose was actually moved forward in the expansion uh, part or the phase two part was really to assess now efficacy. And overall, 97 patients received the Siltacel uh, CAR-T therapeutic. What was, um, uh, I think, really um, amazing results was that the overall response rate was um, close to 98%. Um, and 95% of patients achieved a, a very good partial remission or better. At one year, the stringent complete response rate was 67%. But now at two years of follow-up, the stringent complete remission rate was 83%. So responses continue to deepen over time. Um, and, you know, patients who get a CAR T-cell therapeutic, the ones that really have a, a lasting remission are the ones a stringent complete remission. So 83% of patients achieved a stringent complete remission. That's a really an, another amazing an, another amazing result. If we look at um, progression free survival, the median progression free survival um, was still not esti estimable. So the median progression free survival is uh, essentially 61 uh, percent, or the or the the, S, the um, two year Progression-free survival is 61%, so quite amazing.